There are four major causes of sinus headaches, chronic sinus infections, septal deviation, polyps, and nasal allergies. In this CT scan taken looking directly at the patient's face, the red arrows represent the eyes. These red arrows represent the nose. This red line down the middle is the septum, which should be straight like this. And these two red arrows represent the cheek sinuses, which are black and full of air, which is the way the sinuses should look. In this CT scan, you can see the red arrow on the patient's right represents a clear black sinus with only a little bit of gray thickening in the bottom, whereas this arrow shows a significantly blocked and infected sinus. An infection this bad can cause chronic headaches. In this CT scan, the septum should be straight down the middle like this red arrow. Instead, it is bent to the patient's right as shown with this red diagram. This sort of a septal deviation can cause headaches. This is a telescopic view inside a patient's sinus. There's a little deviation in the back, but the thing I want you to notice is that the lining is pink and looks healthy. In this picture, the lining is red, inflamed, and swollen and does not look healthy. This is a picture you can see with a patient that has chronic allergies or even a low-grade infection. In this telescopic view on the left, you can see the same picture as before, which shows an open and pink nose. On the right, you can see a glistening object in the middle, which represents a nasal polyp. This can lead to sinus headaches as well. We evaluate sinus headaches with a CT scan, which is done like this in our office, where a patient sits down and the scanner spins around the head for about 45 seconds. We also do allergy testing, which is done like this on a patient's forearm. We will also do a nasal endoscopy, which is a telescopic view I showed earlier to look inside a patient's nose. Treatment really depends on what is found with testing. Chronic infection can be treated with antibiotics or balloon sinuplasty in the office or sometimes traditional sinus surgery. Septal deviations and nasal polyps require surgery. And allergies are treated with medications or immunotherapy in the form of allergy shots or sublingual allergy drops. There are other causes of sinus headaches, including migraines, neck problems, temporomandibular disorders, and tooth pain. We always look for these if we don't find anything when evaluating the sinuses. I hope this was helpful. We have offices in San Antonio and Bernie and can be reached at texassinuscenter.com or 210-60-SINUS. Thank you very much.